the rise of AI has already indefinitely impacted every single industry. And the more time goes on, the larger and larger role it'll continue to play. My current job, for example, has already been impacted. And what I studied at university is predicted to become very close to redundant within the next two to five years. Will my current job be replaced? Let's talk about it. Currently, I'm a registered health professional in Australia. I run my own personal training and coaching business. I do that both face-to-face -face as well as online. In the past, I studied commerce and professional accounting at university. Now, mind you, that was one of the most sought after business and accounting degrees. Getting that degree meant that you can go on to get your CA as well as your CPA, which basically means not only are you country certified, but you are globally recognized as a CA accountant, so a chartered professional accountant. However, as I previously mentioned, it is predicted to become close to completely taken over by AI within the next two to five years. Of course, within the industry, there's already been a slow and gradual trend towards implementing AI more and more. However, that wasn't the reason why I decided to permanently pull the plug and move on. It was because Australia were immigrating and still continue to immigrate a significant amount of cheap, cheaper labor, I should say in comparison to their country, which would have meant that getting pay rises would have been close to impossible because you would have had to work day in and day out, over time almost every single day, doing more than just my job title in order to justify why I would have deserved pay rises. Of course, now when you think about it, in comparison to AI, in hindsight, it's the exact same thing. Continuously, time and time again, companies, businesses try to find cheaper and cheaper methods and ways of producing their final product, service, or whatever it is they produce. Now look, accounting was just a relevant example to me from a very long list of industries and jobs affected and slowly but gradually being taken over by AI. Some other examples I can give you from the top of my head, copywriting, banking and finance industry, maybe even law or assistance, especially tutors, copywriting, you got video production, video editing, photography, 3D modeling, planning, website design, graphic design, and the list goes on. So how does AI affect my current job, coaching and personal training? Well, for one, when it comes to someone's workout plans, they can search on ChatGPT, for example, or any other AI chat-powered platform. They can get their answer to a fully custom workout plan if they really wanted to. Hey, I'm 25 years old. I'm six foot three. Reminds you of me. No, I'm not six foot three. I'm six foot ten. I work this job. I'm this active. I only have X amount of hours to work out per week. I want a one and a half hour workout, including warm up and cool down. I want to perform a push pull legs split. I want to go to the gym five times per week. I want to have two full rest days. Please spit me out a custom workout plan. When it comes to nutrition plans, they can do the exact same thing. I weigh 85 kilos of lean, mean muscle. I'm estimating 17% body fat. I'm six foot 10. I'm this active during my day. I'm a vegetarian. I'm not, stuff that. You know, you give it, you feed it the data to make it as customized as possible for you, just like a personal trainer and coach would. And I'm sure it, it would spit out a pretty decent response. Now, here's where AI, I don't believe, will ever be advanced enough in any industry that requires significant human intervention, significant human interaction, or significant human emotional connection to fully replace. Because not only do I take on board all of those data points that I provided in my examples, I also take on an additional 100 to 150 data points in order to fully customize and tailor my plans towards my clients in order for them to achieve their goals. A lot of that includes postural abnormality assessment, which you require either 
photos or me to physically be there to come up or come out with the final analysis. I don't ever predict AI to be able to take photos of you and analyze if you have any postural abnormalities. That is one example. We also have lifestyle assessments and habits. That is a massive one because no two people are the same. The habits of one person, the goals of one person, and the lifestyle and schedule of one person is different from one person to another. So in order for me, the coach, to cater a plan towards someone A, person A, to compare it to person B, honestly, most of the time there's like a 50% correlation there. The other 50% is fully custom and tailored towards their individual schedule, their individual habits, etc., etc. In addition to that, tracking meal and providing meal recommendations, macronutrients and calories almost on a daily basis. Here's the biggest one, accountability. Making sure that that person is remaining accountable during their workouts, nutrition plans. Genuinely, yeah, I don't think it'll ever be advanced enough in order to understand all of those data points, piece them together, in order to spit out a unique, tailored and customized outcome for each person. What it will do is give you broad recommendations, broad answers, broad suggestions. Potentially, if you hit a plateau, be able to be smart enough to figure out what to adjust, what to add, what to detract, to continue seeing progress like a coach would. Then you're going to have to be on top of your own measurable outcomes, track your own things, be your own accountability coach, stay on top of your own nutrition, understand what is good, what is bad. Especially, actually, here's a massive one I didn't even mention. Exercises. Every single exercise, man, I've got probably a thousand exercises in my exercise library, probably more. Every single one of those exercises, I know how to teach someone else to perform those exercises, both safely as well as uniquely towards their body type, if that makes sense. So someone who's tall in comparison to someone who's short, I know how to teach them in order to adjust the machine or perform it in, in, in such a particular way to get the most out of that exercise for their body type. AI, no way on earth it'll ever, and you cannot convince me, ever be advanced enough to learn how to effectively teach exercise technique, exercise safety, exercise Dismounts and setups change and cater exercises for each person's unique postural abnormalities that they have in order to correct them as they are exercising. And let's say someone has an injury in their wrist or their elbow, that's another big thing. There are, of course, use cases for AI in my business that I'm using right now in order to help me make more income, help me be a more effective and time efficient coach overall. For example, because I'm a one-man team, I've used it for copywriting and marketing especially, that's massive, used it for helping me respond to emails or texts more effectively and faster to get rid of the repetitiveness in there, help me with my website, um, ideas, SEO, you know, those are just some examples of how I'm utilizing it currently in my business in order to help me. You know, th there's both sides of the argument here. However, Long story short, it has impacted my current job. It's, it's, it's definitely impacted my past job. Will it completely replace me? Nah, no way. Hell no, I don't think so. Final last words. If you liked and learned something from today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.